again, it will select the ones that are basically linked to the selected uh, to, to, to the selected ones. So if I press grow again, as you can see, it, it has all these selected. But I don't think it's got this one selected because it, it wasn't linked to it. So no, it's, it hasn't got this one selected. Okay. Uh, now what does shrink do? Shrink does the opposite of that, really. So basically, grow uh, selects the like if you if you're on polygon, if you select select grow, it will uh, select the ones that are uh, attached to it, and if you select it, uh, select shrink, it will do the opposite. There are so many options here that you you don't need to learn them all right now. I'll just show you the main ones, the ones that you will probably probably use a lot. You can press uh, extrude. Obviously, extrudes your option, your uh, polygon. Uh, you can select it, basically click and drag, and it will create another polygon. And you can basically say how far you want it to go. You can also select a polygon and hit the option uh, button next to extrude. And here you will basically be able to say uh, how big you want it to be. Uh, you can select the objects here and press OK. Uh, bevel, bridge, and outline inset. The, you, you need to work with all these to actually get to know them. But I will uh, show you them again anyway. Uh, bevel is basically when you have a polygon selected, when you select it, when you uh, basically bevel something, you can it, it first it extrudes that polygon. And then when you let go of your keyboard, and without pressing your bo uh, your mouse buttons, it, you can basically size the uh, size the new polygon. Now, what does bridge do? Bridge, if you have, I'm, I'm, as you can see, I've got my bevel selected right now, so I'm going to press W to get rid of bevel. So if you have two object, two polygons like this, I'm just going to bring this one over here. Rotate it a bit just to make it easier to show you. Okay. Now, if you select two polygons, you can do that by holding Control on your keyboard. Just select the polygon, hold Control, and select the other polygon you want. And then, if you select Bridge, it will uh, bridge these two polygons. Basically, it will make a polygon here, but this one doesn't look good at all, uh, as you can see. Uh, I just press Control Z to undo. So th these are basically the main ones. Inset is a really good one as well. It will basically create another polygon on the polygon that you have selected. It will not push it in or out. It will just make another polygon on the selected polygon like this. And now you can go ahead and extrude this if you want and make something like this. There are so many other options. Uh, in editable poly, uh, you can actually let me just get off my uh, polygon, get off the polygon mode. You can attach other objects. Uh, right now, I don't have my uh, any of these selected, so I can still select any object I want, really. So basically, I want to say if I wanted these two to be one object. So what do I do? You can press one of, you can select one of the um, objects and go to attach, select the atta hit attach uh, once, and as you can see, when I go over my own object, there nothing's happening to my uh, uh, to my scene. But if I go over the green one, you can actually see that I get a different uh, s sign on my mouse. So basically, I can uh, select it, and now these two are the same objects. So basically, I can use editable poly with both of them. So this is very good as well. Um, one of the things that I I'm just going to delete this now. One of the things, one of the features I like in uh, editable poly is that I'm just going to create a plane by uh, pressing plane, and basically you can just uh, drag, uh, click and drag, and basically I want to uh, give it some details, like say 20. And 20. Actually, that was the other one. Sorry. So I'm just gonna press W to get off my plane uh, option. 
select my object, go to uh, go to the modify panel, and basically here add some more details to a 20 by 20. And I'm gonna uh, select the as well poly modifier like this. You can basically basically all you do it. You can actually delete your modifiers through here. Basically, you just click on the modifier list, hit E on your keyboard, it will bring up all the options that start with E and you choose edit to poly. And here, if you go to the vertex mode, and if you open up soft selection, you will see this. And basically check the option that says use soft selection. And as you can see, the color uh, changes in this. So you can right now go to paint and I start painting a part of the plane and press W on your keyboard and basically move it up and down. This is a cool feature as well. Or if you don't want to, you can basically go to select an object uh, because right now if you select any other uh, of these, it will uh, have this selected anyways. In order to do that, just uncheck lock, select, uh, lock, lock soft selection and it will uh, get rid of that for you. You can just click on one of these and basically increase the amount of fall off like this, increase or decrease if you want. You can basically, as I said, you can click and drag uh, your left mouse button and you can basically increase and decrease these and again just move these as a, and as you can see it's got a really nice and soft uh, movement. Uh, this is because basically if I'm just going to press Z on my keyboard to zoom into that. As you can see the red or even the orange ones are the part that are, are really uh, strong in, in that movement and as it kind of goes out it, as it fades out to blue, blue parts are the part that are going to be affected very very little. So basically, if I move this, as you can see, the red parts are moving really uh, are moving too much. When the blue parts, basically, they're they're not moving. They're almost not moving, if you if you know what I mean. So you can do this if you like. And um, basically, don't be afraid. Go ahead, mess around with the Edit well Poly option, or if you want, uh, just get. I'm just gonna deselect this. Right click on that to other are these options mesh and it will mesh and it will patch but use mesh basically I like to use it will poly it will poly is my first option then it's it will mesh so I'm converted to other things and then basically move around with these and basically just try and just don't be afraid go ahead and find out for yourself what do different things do. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please leave comments if you liked it. Uh, I will come back with another tutorial for you soon. Thank you for watching.